Hi, welcome to another topic. In this topic, I'm going to explain what is the posting period variant, what is the need of the posting period variant, and specifically here we will see how the posting period variant in S4 HANA is different from your ECC, and specifically here I'm going to highlight the tra transaction code OB52. So as you know, in OB52, there is a new column added, that is period three. So we will see with some practical example, what is the use of period three, in which situation we need the posting uh, period three is required and that in posting period variant. So all these things we are going to say in this particular uh, video, stay tuned. The logic of posting period variant, it is the same. It controls all your, um, the post in the transactions or the period in open and close this same activity, but some changes are there specifically in the OB52. So uh, let me go to that posting period. So let me create first a posting period. Right, this one I will assign to my company code. Up to this, nothing new. Now coming to the OB52 or open and close posting period. So if you'll go to this particular screen, there is some changes are there. Like one change is look and feel change. Like previously, we have this uh, period here. The left, uh, the first column is there where we used to define the posting period variant. That is now change. Uh, that is we. It is there in T09 in up, and it is applicable this. This is one cosmetic change. But here, functional point of view, you must notice here the period three is introduced. You can see here period three is there. So, uh, uh, like uh, any any guess why this period three is there? or let me unmute why this period 3 is there posting period 3 yes unmuted yes uh, month and activity was extended month and extended month and activity year and activity. year and activity but that is there the posting period uh, uh, this period yeah. 2 is there no? for that special periods it's for periods 13, 14, 16. Yeah, the that, special period. Yeah, that special periods we can use here. 16. I'm asking this period three, this one. No. Okay. No. <laughs> the, uh, yes. Yes. Right. Okay. So let me explain there. So period one, as usual, same concept. Period one allow the posting period intervals for the FI posting. That means statutory point of view, you are going to open one current period. So right now we are in June. So we will open the period six as June period and users will post the transaction. This is nothing new. Period two, that is also special periods like your year end activities. So we 13 to 16, we can take here or whatever, like the period two, three, whatever you want, you can take. There is also no, uh, nothing new here. This period three, why it is required? Again, I will back to my same old example. Then we will understand why this period three is applicable here and what is the logic here, the period three. So <clears throat> let's say we are going to post all the transaction with a one particular cost center. So our cost center is XYZ and we have recorded this cost 10,000 when let's say today. Okay, so on 15th June or on 16th June, we posted all this transaction. So when we posted the transaction, our FI record updated 
uh, no there is no co document so that is a separate thing i don't want to go there so the cost we recorded when it is on 16th june or as and when the cost recorded we recorded this cost then in the month end you need to settle this cost or we need to transfer this cost to your production cost centers or from one cost center to another cost centers so here you may apply the secondary cost element and you can transfer this cost to production cost center for your overhead management point of view or for your cost production calculation so when we are going to do this one you may apply any of the allocation method let's say we have applied the allocation method assessment and with reference to this rki the business transaction we applied one second Okay, so the, uh, by using the assessment method, we are going to distribute this cost. So we applied the RKIU and this in this allocation, we got a new document number that is document number 100. When we are doing this in the month end. So that means on 30th June, we supposed to do this activity on 30th June, we supposed to do this allocation process. But if you'll see practically when actually we are doing this, normally you will find the this cost is settled in the next month. This happens actually practically if you'll see we supposed to do this distribution on 30th June, but actually let's say we are doing this one on 4th July. This one and we already discussed this this concept like whenever we are going to do something in the controlling we are going to get a fi document although we have not seen this one practically but we know this one so with reference to this business transaction we are going to get a fi document that means with reference to this 100 document number we are going to get a fi document that is let's say 70000 now in ECC, your data flows from FI to CO. That means you are going to post a FI transaction, then it is going to update with a one particular cost object. So that is data is going to flow from FI to CO. But here it is both. That means first transaction when we posted on 16th June, it is FI to CO. When on 4th July, when we are going to do this activity, the settlement activity, so this time it will be CO to FI. So data will flow from CO to FI. For this purpose, the period three should be open. Now suppose statutory point of view on this particular date on 4th July. On 4th July, your FI period or period one is open with seventh period. Because that time we are in July and the seventh period is open. This particular document we are expecting for on the, for the period six because we are doing or because we are settling this cost not for July we are settling this cost for the June so that's why we are expecting this document should be posted in the July period so that is the reason we are maintaining one more period here period three which allow the posting interval for data flowing from controlling to FI that is why we are maintaining this period by data from FI sorry CO to FI statutory posting fi to co current period open and for this one we are maintaining this if you are doing let's say on 30th june then there is no issue with the same period you can control it but if there is let's say deviation and make sure that the which month you are doing the settle you are settling the cost that particular period should be open so in this example the period three should be open with period six and when you are doing this activity that time maybe this period is seventh or any period so that is why we are maintaining this period 3 clear this one the uh, why we are maintaining this period 3 mm, yes now I have one question in ECC we have one uh, CO period period control was there that is okay uh, what are the T code? OKP1, okay, right? OKP1. Okay, so through the OKP1, okay, we are controlling the period. Now tell me whether it is required or not required now.
Okay, but it's not required. Not required? No. It's required. OKP1 is required because when you are going to post this transaction, maybe that time your controlling period is not relevant. But when you are going to this transaction, because here data is going to flow from CO to FI. So if your source document will not be generated, let's say uh, this this particular document, document number 100, if it will not generate, then this document also it will not flow. So that's why if in OKP1, you close the period for assessment, then this document will not generate or if this document will not be generated then this document will not be there so that's why okp1 still it is there what uh, like what was the role of okp1 in ecc it is also same here this additional period we are maintaining just to flow the data from co2 fi so okp1 is there there is no replacement of okp1 so uh, pradeep the, the the doubt is uh, this document will get posted in the month of june right end of june no, if you are doing this one on 4th July, so in this case, on 4th July, this document will be posted, but for the period 6. So what could be the posted uh, entry? Means, oh, sorry, date, date, because we have seen one is posting date, one is document date, Third, and one is on, en entry date. 30, 30th June? And entry date will be 4th of July. Entry date will be 30th June, because this activity you are okay. doing on like when you're, you will run the assessment, the assessment will all, always on the period end. So period end is your 30th June. But actually that time your statutory period is open with 7th period. So that's why it will be 30th June and when you will run the K, uh, KSU 5, so that time you will open the period 6. Okay. In KSU 5 when you will execute, that time you will open the period 6. So that's why the month end activity is on 30th June. But actually that time it is 4th July. That's why we are we have to maintain a separate period for this activity data flow from uh, data will flow from CO to FI practically we will do it. Okay, so for the timing you just remember data uh, as we are going to flow the data from CO to FI so that's why we are maintaining the period three. So, so pretty if um, if so you, you you're running KSU 5 on the 30th of June, right? Hmm. No, no, we are supposed to run the... on 30th June, but my I'm saying I'm not running on 30th June. I'm doing this one on 4th July. On 4th of July. On 4th July. Okay. It's delayed. And you're posting date for that, for that, when you're running that, uh, uh, when you, the posting date that you are using when, when you're running that transaction, that also be the 30th, 30th of June? 30th, 30th June. For the, this document, 70,000 document, everything will be 30th June only. Okay. Okay. So I'm just hours. trying to work out where is the 4th of July coming? 4th, actually, 4th July, uh, we are doing this particular activity on 4th July. Okay, so the entry date, yeah. like you were uh, saying, that, that, is that actually date, the yes. 4th of yeah. July. That, that entry date okay. is on 4th July. Okay, if we will not maintain anything here, suppose we will leave this one blank. Nothing is entered here in that case period three. So if you will not enter anything here, it is assumed that whatever you have maintained your period one, same is applicable for period three. So that means if we will leave this one blank, so period one rule is applicable here. So assume, that means it is implied that period seven is open. So if with a period seven, if you'll run for the period six, it will not work. So if blank means the period one rule will be applicable here. That is the uh, delta part here. So a period three we are maintaining it allows your posting uh, or this particular period intervals allow the posting from controlling to FI CO to FI. So here data will flow FI to CO with a regular posting. Then when you are doing the month end settlements, this is one example assessment anything you take here. So this will flow from CO to FI. Okay. So what in ECC, what we are doing actually uh, till of, I mean, as on today, hmm. so suppose uh, if any month and transaction we're supposed to pass, uh, so we'll keep on the period, both the periods will open for that means June, as well for July, July for the recent transaction and June for the month and transaction. So in this case, in Espor HANA, do we means we, both the periods will be open or 30 in June will ECC, be kept? In ECC, in ECC, when you are performing this activity, there is no impact for FI. 
you do a, this one you just open the okp one and you can perform this one in any time there is no impact with your fi because in ecc this document will not be there in ecc for the month end activity for controlling there will be no impact on fi side so that's why it is irrelevant which period is open for this one or not it's just period period one is important to post the transaction uh, no the settlement uh, cost i'm saying yeah the settlement you settle this cost 10000 you settle and uh, now the, you settle this cost let's say 5000 5000 okay now uh -huh. when you are performing this activity it is irrelevant which period when we are doing and which period from the fi point of view it is open we are just maintaining the okp one that's it we are not bothered about the ob52 that time you change ob52 after that you perform this activity it will work if the period is not closed in okp1 because with reference to this activity there will be no fi period that yeah, sorry there will be no fi document okay yeah okay so that's why there is no impact whatever the month and activity you are doing and it has no impact for the fi point of view so if you are doing this one in the way even august there is no issue it will work but as here everything is relevant with a fi posting so that's why this period is open if the, you close this period and you will do this there will it will not work let's say period we are doing this for the period 6 whereas in period 3 the period 6 is open, closed so it will not work yeah, yeah okay so we will try this one once we will have the configuration we will do it but basically period 3 is just to control the data flow from co to uh, fi that is why we are maintaining this period 3 Okay, let me maintain this one. So this one is period 6, 2009. Then this is 2006, 2009. And here, intentionally, I am opening this period as 5, which is wrong. I am intentionally opening this period 5, 2009, 5. 2009 so as per the settings we can do only the month and activity for the period 5 but we are in the period 6 we'll see rest are common nothing new ATKM yes. Don't maintain for any account type. If you will maintain, you will get the error. Suppose I will maintain this one for GL. So if you will maintain this one, let's say. 05-2009 and here I will maintain this one see we will get the error so only maintain for the plus not for other account type see period 3 interval is only allowed for account type plus so 